Valorant is not an easy game. I should know. I've been playing it since it came out and the highest I have got is Gold 3. But when I first started playing Valorant, I had no idea what I was doing. So what I'm going to do is give you seven things. That's one. I'm going to give you seven things that you can do to help improve your game of Valorant before you even get into a competitive or unrated game. So let's go. Number one, learning the maps. In Valorant, there are tons of different maps with tons of different areas within them. And one thing you will need to learn is the names of these areas because your teammates or yourself may need to communicate to each other where enemies are and where to expect them to come from. But how can I do that without losing my rank? It's very simple. Go into a custom game and just explore. Find all the hidey holes, find all the sneaky roosts, have a look at the names on the map. It's as simple as that. Here's a fun game you could play. Go into custom game with a friend and get them to give you the name of the place that they are in and you have to go and find them without looking at the map. This will then help embed the knowledge that you've just learned. But now from learning the maps to learning in-game lingo or in-game comms. Learning communications for a game like Valorant, which is so high paced, is always going to be a daunting task, especially when you are playing with players that have probably been playing for a good number of years. They're gonna be shouting things at you that just does not make sense. So what you need to do is learn the in-game lingo, as I say. This could be learning things like they're in heaven or plant at default. You're going to want to know what these things mean. So take a bit of time. Just Google what is some common in-game communications. And that should answer a lot of your questions. But now it's time to stop learning things and time to sort out our settings. Sorting out your settings can be a crucial factor in how you play Valorant. What you need to do is find the settings that you are most comfortable with. Look at how your map is placed. Look at your key bindings for your controls because that can be a big thing. What you don't want to do is copy someone else because everybody's layout is different. You want it to be suited and comfortable for you. How I would sort this is by going into the range or going into a custom game and just having a play around and seeing how each key bind and how each setting feels and looks. But now we've sorted out our settings, you're going to want to change your crosshair because the default one is awful. Your crosshair can be the definitive thing as to how you do in a game because it literally is how you aim. But there's an easier way of changing it, especially now you can import custom crosshairs. Like your settings, a crosshair is a very personal thing and will be different for everyone. A lot of people will very much just download a pro's crosshair and just use that and just get used to using that. But some other people will make their own and you will definitely see some obscure ones and some that just don't exist. So like your settings, go into a custom game, go into the range and just have a practice on the bots or on your friends and just try out a few different ones and see which one works for you. And whilst you're in the range testing out those crosshairs, you can also look at the different guns within the game. It's especially important to try these out before you go into a game, especially if you're coming over from a game like COD or Overwatch, where spraying is a big thing. Each gun in Valorant has a very different recoil and a very different spray pattern. You can see this just by going in and testing out the Vandal and then looking at the Phantom. You will also notice that guns are not all the same price. You'll have some which are better for earlier rounds and you'll have some which are better for later rounds. This is where terms like saving and full buying and then even half buying come into play. But this is also something that you'll pick up as you get more experience within the game. So don't stress about it too much. So my next tip is to understand your agent's abilities. And this is a big one because being able to control your agent's abilities properly is brilliant within Valorant because it gives you so many more options as to how to operate within the game. It can get you out of tight spots, it can do extra damage to your opponents, and it can help you control a site, which is more than anything, the most important thing within the game. But there will be a lot of players within the game that will try and tell you when and how you should use those abilities, especially when it comes around ultimates, which is your agent's big ability, which will normally dictate how a round will go. Now, I remember this happening to my girlfriend, Sarah, who was playing a game as the character Viper. And if you don't know what Viper's abilities are like, they are basically based around Venom and Toxic, 
chemicals and it's a re she's a really cool character but this player that she was playing with was trying to get her to use her abilities and her especially her ultimate within the center of the map which is just not how you tend to play viper but sarah understanding how to use her abilities was able to ignore this person and get onto site and win around using her abilities properly so it's very important to just study your character's abilities and get to know them so you can use them properly now last but not least the most important thing before you go into any big game in valorant is to warm up properly and i am a very guilty person for not doing this because i go into a full game and i get completely tilted and i just have i'm in a bad mood for the rest of the day because i've had a bad game and i feel like i'm playing terrible you can do this by going into the range and practicing on the bots in custom game with a friend or just going into something like swift play or spike rush this will just allow you to warm up your reflexes warm up your fingers and just get into a good mindset knowing that you can play without consequences because the last thing you want to do is go into a competitive game not warmed up and derank it is the worst feeling in the world especially considering games take 45 minutes on average so heed my warning warm up every time you play valorant if you do not want to go into a bad mindset. Valorant can be the most enjoyable game in the world and you can meet so many amazing people through it. And I'm hoping this video can help you in some way, even if it's just giving you the tip of warming up before you play. If this video has helped you, please make sure you leave a like and also let me know in the comment section something that I might have missed. And also make sure you do subscribe to the channel because I'll be releasing so many more videos like this in the future. But yeah, thank you so much guys and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.